Hi everyone, my name is Julia and I'm a physical therapist at Breakthrough. I'm here today with a beginner lower body strength workout that's geared towards runners or any athletes who have to do any type of running as part of their sport. So this workout is going to be pretty quick, it's going to be a little bit under 30 minutes. Uh, we're going to have your warm up, we have a strength section, and then a cool down stretch. Okay, so you will need or you will benefit from using some weights for this exercise for these exercises. You don't need weights, but you're going to get more of a strength benefit from using weights. So grab whatever you have around the house, dumbbells, books, canned goods, um, water bottles, whatever you got, and let's get the workout started. Okay, so we're going to start off with our warm up here. This is a really important part of the workout. Get my timer. Starting off with a jog in place or a march in place for low impact. So start off with that jog, or if you need to go low impact, you can do kind of a high knee march here. Otherwise, bring it up into that jog. So the goal of the warm up is to raise your heart rate, maybe break a little bit of a sweat, and also to prepare your muscles for the movements you're about to do. So warm up is really important. You don't just want to rush right into your heavy lifting workout. We're going to do open and close the gate next. So open the gate, close the gate, open the gate, close the gate. This is our low impact option, warming up the hips. For a little higher impact, you can add a bounce. So open the gate, close the gate, open the gate, close the gate. Just warming up your hips here. And also still raising that heart rate. Next one is going to be a hip hug. So stand up nice and tall. Pull your knee towards the chest. Again, we're going to work on our hip mobility. So stand nice and tall. You don't want to slump your lower back here. Pull your knee up towards your chest. Get a quick stretch in that hip. Next one is going to be a quad stretch and heel raise. So work on the front of those thighs next. So stand up tall, quad stretch, raise up on your toe. Quad stretch, heel raise. So you want to stay nice and tall and keep your knees together. You don't want to let it flare out too much to the side here. So try and keep those knees together. Raise up on that toe for a little bit of balance. If you can't grab your ankle, you can just do a butt kicker or you can um, grab like your, the back of your shoe. Next one is Frankensteins. So again, standing up tall, keep your legs straight and kick up. You can reach with the opposite hand or the same hand, doesn't matter. Whatever feels more comfortable for you. And you don't want to slump over to get this kick. So if you can only kick that high, that's fine. Keep it low if you have to. If you're flexible enough, kick as high as you can while keeping your back straight and your knees straight. This is just to get a quick stretch and warm up the hamstrings. Last one is going to be a squatted side step. So come into a squat and then tap out to the side. Just getting those legs warmed up. And this is all low impact here. You can add, if you want to go a little higher, you can do out, out, in, in, out, out, in, in. And switch direction every few repetitions. Or you can stay in this squatted side step here. All right, that's it. That's our quick warm up. So now grab your weights and then we'll get into the strength portion. Okay, so for the main strength portion of this workout, um, we're gonna have four exercises. So we'll go in two groups of two exercises and we'll go 45 seconds on, 15 seconds off in uh, three rounds through, so in an A, B, A, B, A, B pattern. So our first two exercises is gonna be squats and RDLs. So if you're just starting out with this, um, if you're just starting out with strength training, you can just go body weight, just get the form correct. If you're a little more advanced, you can use some weight. Um, if you don't have weights, you can use like a bag of books, uh, water bottles, whatever you got. So for the squat, you're gonna put your feet about shoulder width apart and then knees tracking over your feet. You're just gonna push your hips back in a squat like you're trying to sit on a chair behind you. And so if you find your knees knocking just pretend like you're spreading the floor apart between your feet. That'll help engage your glutes and keep your knees nice and stable. So from the side, 
You want to get your shin and your trunk, your chest and your shin angle about the same. Push your hips back. Initiate the squat motion by pushing your butt behind you. So if you use weight, you can either rack them up on your shoulders, hold them down by your sides, or just hold one weight in front of you, okay? So options there. For the RDL, it's gonna be mostly focusing on the hamstrings and glutes. You're gonna stand again, feet shoulder width apart. Your knees are gonna be straight, but not totally locked out, so a little soft. And pretend like someone's pushing into the front of your hips, forcing your hips back, and you're just gonna hinge at the hips here. So you wanna keep a nice flat back, neutral arch in the spine. As soon as you start to see your back rounding, that's too far. So you only go as far as you can while keeping this nice neutral spine here. And as you can see here, my knees aren't, they're not all the way locked up, they're slightly soft. So hinging at the hips, and here you can hold one weight um, in both hands, or you can just hold one weight in either hand, or you can just do this body weight to work on the form. So we're gonna start it up here, three rounds through, 45 seconds on, 15 seconds off. Okay, so we'll start out here with the squats. I'm just gonna start no weight, feet shoulder width apart, start it up. And if you can do, uh, if you're doing body weight, you can go a little bit faster. You want to inhale, lowering, exhale, raising. Inhale, lower, exhale, lift. So you want to exhale during the hardest portion of the movement, which since we're working against gravity here, it's going to be lifting up. So if you're feeling pretty good, you can add a weight. Remember, push those hips back to initiate the squat. Come all the way up to vertical standing upright to finish that squat. Good. Switching to RDL, so I'll start body weight here. If you need a longer break between um, sets, feel free to pause the video and take a longer break. So getting ready for those RDLs. Start it up. Hinge your hips back. Only go as far down as you can while having a neutral spine. Knees straight but soft, mostly straight, a little bit of a bend in them. Again, inhale lower, exhale lift. Inhale lower, exhale lift. And again, you can just hold one weight here. If you're feeling pretty good about your form, You should feel a stretch in the hamstrings on the way down and then work in your hamstrings and glutes on the way up. Good. All right, we're going back to those squats. So I think I'm feeling pretty good. I'm just gonna hold my one weight here. Maybe the last round will go up to two. So we'll start it up. Sit your hips back in the squat. Try and get your thighs parallel to the floor. Nice steady breathing. Inhale down, exhale up. Come all the way to standing. So really work on your form here. If you start getting too tired, just you can take a break early or take a mid-set break. Form is important. Take a break there. We want quality over quantity. So I think I'm gonna use my two weights for the RDLs here. Shoulders back. And start it up. Inhale lower. Exhale, lift. Nice steady breathing. Make sure your back is flat, shoulders stay back. Head is in a neutral position. 
Come all the way vertical when you're standing back up. Hinge from the hips, stick your butt out behind you as you're lowering. That hip hinge is really important for accessing your glutes. All right, take a break there. We're going back to our last round of squats. We have one more set here. So I'm gonna use two weights this time. Um, I'm gonna start by racking them up on my shoulders. Again, you can just do this body weight, especially if you're just starting out. So push those hips back into a squat. And again, if you notice your knees wobbling, spread the floor with your feet. It helps activate your glutes and keep those knees nice and stable. Inhale to lower, exhale to lift. Keep it going here, just a little longer. All right, then we're gonna go for our last set of those RDLs. So I've got my two weights here. And if you find that it's too heavy, you can always drop your weight mid-set or between sets, totally up to you. Start it up. Inhale lower, exhale lift. Inhale lower, exhale lift. Try and keep a nice steady rhythm here. Same speed going down as you are coming up. Almost done with this set here. You should feel some stretch in the hamstrings going down, work in the hamstrings and glutes coming up. All right, very nice. So, bend your knees, put your weights down. And if you need to, you can pause here for a quick water break, um, or you can get a drink while I'm explaining the next two. So our next two exercises are gonna be a glute bridge, um, double or single leg option, and then a reverse lunge. So the glute bridge is gonna be on the ground. So lying on your back, both feet on the ground, knees about 90, maybe a little more than 90 degrees here. You're gonna lightly activate your core by drawing your belly button gently towards your spine. And then you're gonna squeeze your glutes to lift your hips off the ground. So for balance, you can put your hands down by your sides, or I like to rest them kind of just inside my hip bones to make sure my um, abs are being activated here. So you wanna keep your hamstrings kind of loose. You don't wanna be really pulling with your hamstrings and you don't wanna really arch your back to get into this position here. So it should be really mainly driving from the glutes. Single leg option, you can have your knee at this 90-90 position, and then your core has to work even harder to keep your hips level instead of kind of getting a rotation in the hips here. So you have to keep your core activated to keep your hips level. So those are the glute bridge options. Um, to make that harder, you can just put a dumbbell or a weight across your hips. So then the reverse lunge, is going to be you're just standing nice and tall you take a big step back and then drop into a lunge so again you want your knee tracking over your foot and you want it to be nice and stable not no wobble here so from the side step back drop straight between your feet and then step all the way vertical here you want about 90 degree bend in both knees so again with the weights you can hold a weight in each hand or just one in front of your chest. So let's get these sets started. Three rounds, 45 seconds on, 15 seconds off. So we'll start with the glute bridge. I'm gonna go with double leg version first. I'm gonna put a, a dumbbell across my hips. You don't have to. This is just for a little extra weight. So push through the heels. Same breathing pattern, inhale to lower, exhale to lift. Exhaling on the harder part of this motion, which is lifting your hips up off the ground. 
Nice steady breathing here. Keep that core activated. Really squeeze those glutes to lift those hips off the ground. All right, and then coming into a standing position, we'll go into that reverse lunge. I'm gonna do the first set without any weight. Again, if you need to pause for more rest between sets, feel free. These are pretty quick transitions here. All right, start it up. So an alternating reverse lunge, step back. You're gonna keep most of the weight focused in the heel of your front foot. And you wanna just hover your knee over the ground. You don't wanna bang your knee on the ground here. And again, inhale to lower, exhale to stand back up. Inhale lower, exhale lift. Keep it going nice and steady here. All right, great. Back down on the ground, we'll go for those glute bridges. This time I think I'm gonna go for the single leg version, so I won't use my weight here. I'm gonna do five on one leg and then switch legs and keep rotating throughout the interval. So, start it up. Two, three, four, five, switch legs. Again, you can stay with the double leg glute bridge here, that's totally fine, with or without weight. Whatever challenge is right for you, that's what I want you to do. Switch again. Really activate that core if you're doing this single leg version to keep those hips level. Instead of having this leg lock version, you can also straighten your leg, get a little quad work in there. All right, standing back up. We'll go for those reverse lunges. I'm going to use both weights this time. So just holding the weights by your side here. And start it up. Step back, lower into the lunge, and stand all the way up tall. Inhale lower, exhale lift. Slow and steady, quality over quantity. Since we're using kind of one leg at a time here, it's kind of a split stance. This is gonna be harder on your legs than the squats and RDLs. And that's good, we need a little challenge. We're here to get stronger. Running is just a series of single leg jumps and landings. So we have to have this kind of almost single leg stability here. So. Put those weights down, going back to the glute bridges. This time maybe I'll do a mix. So maybe I'll do double or single. Start it up. I'm going to start off with my double leg here. For more of a core challenge, you can raise your arms straight up over your shoulders to have less support on the ground. Make your core work a little harder. I'm going to switch to the single leg here. So go five on one side, you can go five on one side, three on one side, you can alternate back and forth. The choice is yours, so many options. See, who says strength training is boring? There's so many options, so much variety. Keep that core activated. A couple more on this side for symmetry. All right, and then we're doing our last set of reverse lunges here. So maybe I'll just do one dumbbell this round. And I'll hold it right in front of my chest. Start it up. Step back. Lower into the lunge. Steady breathing. So again, you want to focus on form here. This kind of 
semi single leg activity, really important for stability while you're running and to build up the strength in each individual leg. In some of the later videos, we'll go over um, single leg strengthening. All right, so that is it. That is the end of the strength portion. So go ahead, keep your feet moving. Don't sit down completely yet. Grab a quick sip of water and then come right back for our cool down and stretch. Okay, so since we just did all that hard work on our legs, now we have to cool down and stretch them out. So keep your feet moving a little bit as I get my timer. We're going to start off with a forward bend hamstring stretch. So you're going to put your hands on your hips, one leg out in front, hinge your hips back. And you should feel a stretch all along your hamstring and your calf here too. And if you can, reach for your toe. But you want to make sure your back is staying nice and flat. You don't want to be slouching over in the stretch here. So just kind of get similar to the RDL. Just get as low as you can while keeping a straight back. So breathe into the stretch here. Go ahead and switch sides. So leg out in front, sink back into that stretch. You can reach for your toe. Get a little bit more of a calf stretch here if you can. If that's not working for you, you can stay with your hands up here on your hips. It just kind of depends on your flexibility level. But now is a great time to stretch because your muscles are nice and warm because you just did that workout. Next one is a quad stretch. So stand up nice and tall. Similar to the warm exercise, but now we're just going to do a long, nice hold on this stretch. So you should really be feeling it on the front of your thigh. Stand up nice and tall. Keep your knees together. Just going to stretch out those muscles, let them cool down after that workout. And we'll switch sides here. So go ahead and switch sides. If you need to, you can hold on to something like a wall, chair, bookshelf for balance, or your workout buddy. They make great balance supports. So use what you need in order to hold your balance for this stretch. Keep those knees together, nice steady breathing. If you can't grab your ankle, you can kind of grab the heel of your shoe. Next one is a hip flexor stretch. So one foot out in front, one foot behind, tuck your hips under like a dog, tucking its tail between its legs and then sink into the stretch. You should be feeling it in the front of this hip here. To deepen the stretch, you can raise your arms overhead and then lean away from the hip that's getting stretched. And breathe, get a little bonus side stretch here. Go ahead and switch sides. So tuck those hips under and then sink into the hip flexor stretch here. And then if you want to add that extra stretch, reach up and over with that hand. So left hip stretching, my left arm is reaching up and over. So I'm leaning to my right. Next one is a figure four stretch on the ground. So cross one ankle over the other, pull your toe towards your knee, land your back, and then pull that knee towards your chest. If that's too much, you can just grab behind your thigh. Make sure this toe is pulled towards your knee here. Just get a nice stretch in the hip. This is stretching your glutes and your piriformis here. Okay, we'll go ahead and switch sides. So other ankle over your knee, toes towards your knee, and then pull that knee towards your chest. This is our last stretch here. If you feel like you need more stretching, um, there's some other stretching videos and there's other cool downs from other workouts on this site. 
And I would also really recommend foam rolling for muscle recovery after a strength workout like that. Alright, that is it. So, that was the beginner lower body strength workout. Great job. You just completed a pretty tough workout. Um, and if you're just starting out, maybe you did body weight, but you just have to choose the right challenge for you. Okay? So hopefully you can see how working on all these muscles is really going to help you be faster, stronger, more powerful on your run. And you can even increase your running capacity by increasing your lower body strength. So, great job, and thanks for watching. See you next time.